Hello, folk. Hitman Von Doom here. Adrian, whatever. <coughs> oh. This is going to be my C2... Oh, jeez. Allergies are redoing a number of my throat. But this is going to be my C2E2 haul. For the love of God, I should have did this a long time ago. But I wanted to read through almost all of them. And I have done that. And it's been a long time that I really should have done this. But I just also want to give a disclaimer here. That, um... Uh... uh you know, I actually had two more. I have uh, that limited series with the first no issue number one is the four issue limited ser mini series that had long shot, which was the first appearance of long shot. So I did get that, but I already filed it and put it away with X Men related stuff. So needless to say, I'm not pulling that out again. I mean, I bought a long box, stored it in, it's piled under stuff. I'm not getting that out. And I also got. The first, you know, the X Men versus or and Teen Titans little crossover thing as, as well, and I'm not pulling that out of the, the X Men related box either. So, and here's and here's my haul, and you can kind of see I had a focus. I mean, I had a huge focus on the new Teen Titans, and then when I was there, I didn't think I would be drawn to Amazing Spider Man with the Hobgoblin stories. I didn't think that would happen, but hell, you know, what do you know? It even surprised me. So. Anywho, let's listen to music while we go through these. <laughs> New Teen Titans number 15. Pretty much. God, I, I want to say that I maybe lost one of these. I never thought did I? I think I lost some of these, but... Anyway, they're in a... This one, they're in like a... A new country with villains and pretty much, <coughs> pretty much, beat uh, changeling teams up with the uh, the Brotherhood of Evil. Quite original, by the way. But yeah, so that's that one. Um, here we go, New Teen Titan number freaking sixteen. Starfire pretty much goes berserk because. He was in love with this guy, he was working for the high, the high killed this guy, and she wants to kill the murderer who killed her, well, fiancé at the time. And uh, you gotta remember, Starfire is kind of almost ruled by emotion. So that was New Teen Titans number 17. Uh, this issue is about this girl who developed like magnetic powers, almost like Magneto, by the way. And it's kind of a really... See, the thing about these issues are that they really make you think at the end. There's always something that kind of happens at the end that's like, that may hit you in like in the stomach. You know, like, oh man, that sucks. This is one of those issues because her mom basically just owns her. And she pretty much sets off on her own. It's, it's a little tragic. Uh, here we go. <coughs> you keep hiding in number 18. You gotta love the purple background. You don't see that too often. Uh, this is the original Starfire right here, and this was a really good issue, and pretty much, he's assigned to assassinate someone, and this person is pretty much being affected with radiation that's gonna kill a bunch of other people, and she doesn't know this, it was just some asshole in Russia, or the USSR, and pretty much at the end of the issue, everyone, you know, everyone's trying to stop him, and Kid Flash, I hate to say, Kid Flash is a dick. I mean, it's like with this issue, I kind of realized, man, Kid Flash is kind of a dick. And as I read more and more issues, I was only confirmed with that belief that Kid Flash was an asshole. But he's kind of a dick. He really is. And he's over here kind of coming up like this communist and Marxist communist and you pay, you know. And then at the end, you find out that the woman who was, who was infecting everyone that he was going to kill was his wife. It was this guy, Starfire's wife right there. And that's what everybody goes quiet in the issue with. And it tells you, it's like one of those, every time, it's like, oh, whoa. And it makes you think. And then you get that wall factor, you know? So that one, that's what happened there. And, you know, so, no hard hitting. This one, I don't, God, I don't even think I read this one. Yeah, I didn't read this one because I wouldn't remember it. But it was an issue kind of really nice too. I kind of love it. It's love things with snow in it, you know? I think it takes a tremendous amount of talent to draw snow in a cover. Yeah. 
Here is this one, YouTube tag is number 20. This is a similar issue where Wally West, the dick kid Flash, is writing a letter to his parents and just describing a typical day, you know, how this happened and that happened. This guy was, and at the end of the issue, it was pretty much about this guy, he's trying to please his dad, and his dad, so he's going to villainy and turning to a villainy and stuff, and his dad just not giving him any credit. And at the end of the issue, the son takes the fall for the dad, and the dad just gets old him in prison. Another one where it's like, bah, punch in the stomach, and you're like, oh, how are you hitting you know? Here's this one. New Teen Titans number 21, and it's the first issue of the night for And this is the key issue. This one, the New Teen Titans pretty much go to the Brother, Brother Blood's church, and as they pick in the issue, they don't do too well. You know? <coughs> they don't do too well, they get their asses kicked pretty much. Uh, you think time is number 23? I think this might be the first appearance of Blackfire. I'm not too sure about that, but, you know. Ooh. Ooh, I think it fixed the camera. Oh, Beauty and a Beast, what do you know? But anyway, New Teen Titans number 23. Pretty much, Blackfire hates her sister, took over, pretty much taking over the galaxy with someone. And she's following this incompetent, this stupid, idiot, gorilla guy. Oh, I hate that guy. And she captures her and she's torturing her. And this is a bondage cover, There's by the way. Time. New Teen Titans number 24. <coughs> Pretty much the New Teen Titans team up with the Omega Man. And go confront Blackfire. So, no, nothing really happens to me during this issue. They're just gonna come at, come after Blackfire and infiltrating Blackfire's forces. This is another continuation on New Teen Titans number 25. And in this issue, this stupid gorilla guy finally gets killed by Blackfire. He he's a dumb idiot. And I was so happy when Blackfire killed him. I was like, oh yes! God damn time! Hate that guy! You know? But that was, um... That was that, and that was pretty fun. You know, they a really good issue, when they're all trying to fight over her, by the way. And it doesn't get concluded, and, and I didn't even get to see the conclusion, because that's in an annual, which I probably have to get somewhere down the line. New Teen Titans number 26. Another one, another issue that's really hard-hitting. It's called The Runaway. Really, really hard-hitting, depressing story, if I say so. Very depressing. I mean, like, oh, God. It's about a group of runaways. Each of them kind of go on a different path. One of them's a pregnant woman. Another one's kind of a, a, a dick guy who turns to gang races. Another guy is just kind of a junkie kid who kind of turns to drugs, drugs. drugs. And you pretty much find out the fate of these people. And, man, it's not pretty. And especially the ending where it's just like, oh, man. so de The ending is just so depressing, man. It's like... Oh, God, you know, it's really hard hitting. That's all I can say. And this is part two of The Runaways. New Teen Titans number 20, number 27. Again, you know, I'm still continuing the hard hitting story. It's really, like I said, really depressing. <coughs> Here we go, New Teen Titans number 28. It says Terra joined, meh, joined the Titans. And that's what it says. Terra joins the Titan. No, no, no. It's like not the first appearance of Terra for sure. Because I know she made an appearance somewhere else. But this is, this is one where she's kind of starting to infiltrate the group. She's kind of starting to infiltrate the group, folks. And so the way she's doing this is that apparently her parents are like her, her kings or queens or whatever. They're kidnapped by people. She's trying to do what to, what to order in her, and then you kind of trying to help her, and then they end up helping her. And at the end, you think everything's good. The parents have died, you think everything's good, but Raven kind of said to something that's Raven at the end, kind of mentions that she feels that something is off. She can't put her finger on it. So that's that. Then, of course, New Teen Titans number <coughs> 30, when Terra actually joins the Teen Titans, it was pretty much one of the most unofficial things you could think of. Jamie just like, oh, why don't you join the Teen Titans with me? And I was like, oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> like that. I mean, not even a vote or anything. 
It's quite weird. It was quite weird, I will say. But, anywho, I can't remember what happened to this issue besides that. I know I'm missing an issue, dang it. The new Teen Titans, number 31. Ah, oh, now I remember. The Brotherhood of Evil kidnapped Raven, and they're trying to learn Brother Blood's secret. Yeah, secret. In this one, <coughs> pretty much, they're still kind of going after Raven, and Raven finally agrees to let him do what she remembers. And the new team parents go to save her, and this is when you kind of get Wally West being a dick. Is that, oh, you tried to kill me, and you know, blah blah blah, she's evil, and blah blah, you know, kind of being a really gigantic dick. But anyway, in this issue, they, they pretty much defeat the Titans, and Raven loses it. She, she turns, she starts letting her evil side out, of tri the evil Trigon side out, and she like, starts just wreaking havoc. And it's not until Wonder Girl's intervention that causes her to kind of regain control of herself. So it's really nice seeing that. New Team Titans number 38. This is where is Donna Troy. Who is Donna Troy? And in this one, Robin pretty much just investigates Donna Troy's past to find out who she was. This was actually a very uplifting, not depressing, uplifting issue, I will say. New Team Titans number... Good God, I am missing... No, I'm not, I'm not. New Team Titans number 40, Brother Blood. Pretty much, you know, they go and, they go after Brother Blood again. That's really what this is, but number 40. <coughs> this is New Team Titans... Well, tells of the Team Titans number 41. Because New Team Titans, it ends at 40 and it splits to tell the Team Titans and it's a continuation. And to a certain point, then it's just like, uh... Then it becomes like replay, but... I didn't read this yet. And now we go on to the amazing Spider-Man stuff that I picked up. Like I said, so I picked up some stuff. Amazing Spider-Man 249. <coughs> Spider-Man versus the Juggernaut. Which is probably one, more, more one fighter than him going against, um... Fire Lord, so... Definitely a fun issue. Uh, the second part. And maybe Spider Man 230. Uh, you know, the continuation of that. Then, the Hobgoblin stuff. I didn't think I would be attracted to them, but. Whatever, what is what happened? So, it's uh, Amazing Spider Man 244. I don't want to spoil it for you because I want you guys to read these. Amazing Spider Man 245. Amazing Spider Man 250. And I just paid $15 for that, by the way, if you can see that. So I guess if you steal. Now, the, now, this is a really great cover. I love it. I actually love the issue, too. Really fantastic. Oh, no! 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 Amazing Spider-Man 259. The Return of the Hobbit. And you find out some really interesting stuff about Mary Jane's past, so... Holy hell... This is not working out well. Many Spider-Man 260. Yeah, he tries to blackmail Terry Osborne. 261. Look at the cover again. Really great, isn't it? And again, Spider-Man beats the holy hell out of Hobgoblin. It's worth it to see that. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 276. And Amazing Spider-Man 289. You get the final reveal of who the Hobgoblin is. Which, trust me, when I read this issue, I was kind of pissed, and it was very anticlimactic. I was like, oh, God, you just ruined the Hobgoblin for me. Thanks a lot, 289. But up to that point, it was really good reading the Hobgoblin stuff. So you can kind of see, I really had a thing for the Hobgoblin this time around. So, And that was my Sutu Itu haul. Not, not as incredibly big and glamorous, but I like it. And so anyone, thanks for watching.